The following is an address by Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade in observance of International Nurses Day. Greetings to all nurses and midwives throughout our tri island state. Florence Nightingale, the mother of modern day nursing, was born on May 12, 1820, in Florence, Italy. On October 24, 2019, to mark the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth, the World Health Organization designated 2020 as the Year of the Nurse and Midwife. It is truly fitting and timely for me to address you this year on International Nurses Day as the world grapples with the profound health and economic consequences of the coronavirus. In the midst of the current pandemic, nurses and midwives have been our frontline heroes as they risk their lives and the lives of their families to save the lives of strangers and to comfort the sick. They have been unflinching in the face of danger and we should be forever grateful to them for their immense contribution in the field of health. The theme for 2020, Nurses, a voice to lead, nursing the world to health, underscores the central role played by nurses in addressing a wide range of health challenges and highlights the dynamic nature of the nursing profession. The theme was chosen not only to pay tribute to nurses, but also to encourage the general public to celebrate the largest group of healthcare professionals who perform the indispensable and multifunctional roles of holistic caregiver, communicator, counsellor, client advocate, collaborator, manager, and leader. In times of disasters and epidemics, nurses have always been at the forefront, working alongside doctors and providing specialized nursing care to the wounded, critically ill, or otherwise affected individuals. At no other time has the central and vital role of nurses and other healthcare professionals been so clearly demonstrated than in 2020, the year that COVID-19 rocked the world. As countries continue to struggle to contain the impact of this global pandemic, the numbers of infected and dead continue to climb at an alarming rate. Even in the most developed and wealthiest countries of the world, Hospitals and healthcare facilities are overwhelmed. No one anywhere is immune to the invisible but deadly coronavirus. When this virus is finally contained, the world will forever recall the heroism, the commitment to patient care, the compassion shown, and the many sacrifices of healthcare professionals, but particularly nurses a highly dedicated group of frontline workers who rose to the occasion, worked long hours, endangering their own lives, often with limited personal protective equipment, caring for those affected by this lethal and highly contagious virus. Indeed, in working selflessly and tirelessly to save others, some have paid the ultimate price by losing their own lives. This year's theme is calling on nurses to be a voice to lead. It was interesting to read the history of the nursing profession in Grenada and the leadership shown by our strong, determined and patriotic women who shared a burning desire to elevate the nursing profession in Grenada to a higher level and fought fearlessly to achieve their goal. In the past, the training received by our nurses began at the Colony Hospital, as it was called at that time, with periodic lectures given to nurses and by doctors and the hospital matron as on-the-job training. In 1947, the first qualified expatriate tutor was appointed on a two-year contract from England. 
1951, Mrs. Monica Klein and Miss Leonie McNeely returned home, having studied nursing and midwifery in the United Kingdom. Mrs. Klein was appointed nursing superintendent and Miss McNeely taught midwifery. Between them, the process of formalizing the training of nurses began and they succeeded in upgrading the loose arrangement that existed for training nurses to three full days of lectures weekly and in moving the training sessions from the nurses' hostel to a makeshift classroom located on the lower level of the private block, which is now the administrative building of our general hospital. In 1954, the nursing and midwifery ordinance provided much needed direction for the development of the nursing and midwifery program and a director of nursing was charged with the responsibility for training nurses. In 1966, Mrs. Shirley Mathlin, née Robinson, became a tutor in the general nursing program and Miss Rose Hall reorganized and taught the midwifery program. Both of these senior nurses received their training in the United Kingdom. In 1966, Mrs. Thelma Augustin was the first Grenadian to pursue the Advanced Nursing Education Program at UWI and upon her graduation became a tutor at the Grenada School of Nursing. In 1970, a much needed one-year practical nursing program was developed and implemented. At that time, therefore, the Grenada School of Nursing had three educational training programs, namely general nursing, nursing assistant, and basic midwifery. In 1978, Based on a recommendation from the Pan American Health Organization, a primary health care approach to nursing education was adopted. Today, the training of nurses in Grenada takes place at St. George's University, although without the midwifery or nursing assistant components. The tremendous leadership and foresight of these strong women who blaze the trail for the education and training of nurses in our country has borne much fruit and our country's health care system has benefited from their pioneering work. Their work must not be forgotten and is probably most evident in Grenada's achievement of a 100% immunization rate, the general hospital status as baby friendly and our island's reduced maternal and infant mortality rate. It should be noted, however, that the excellent training received could be partly responsible for the migration of many of our nurses to the, the, to the developed world. Every effort must therefore be made to improve the retention rate of our nurses. The year 2020, having been designated by WHO as the year of the nurse and midwife should have been one that was celebrated by nurses. However, nurses themselves are not celebrating. Instead, the world is celebrating them and the priceless contribution they are making during this unprecedented time in its history. Never before has the value of the work done by nurses been more greatly appreciated. As if further proof were needed, COVID-19 has clearly demonstrated the great importance of nurses in terms of patient care and survival. The COVID-19 experience has taught us many important lessons, above all the value of life over possessions and the need to follow the example set by the nurses of the world and demonstrate compassion for and dedication to each other. It is my fervent hope that governments around the world heed the call of the World Health Organization and the International Council of Nurses for greater investment in every aspect of the nursing profession 
which will be critical to the achieving universal health coverage, one of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Let us join with all the peoples of the world in expressing our heartfelt gratitude to nurses for their unwavering commitment to their profession as they soldier on in these difficult times, driven by the zeal and spirit of Florence Nightingale to selflessly care for all who have directly or indirectly experienced the suffering inflicted by COVID-19. My sincere thanks to all the nurses throughout our Tri-Island State, particularly those who have cared for COVID-19 patients and have demonstrated great leadership working along with the committee. We are all proud, as you also should be, of your immense contribution to our country and we thank God for choosing you to pursue your noble and demanding vocation while at the same time giving you the strength to care for your own families. During these dark and difficult times, your heroic work shines as a bright light that helps lead us to a path of hope, optimism and recovery. Happy International Nurses Day! The proceeding was an address by Governor General Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade in observance of International Nurses Day.